Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So um, I'm here in my porch and uh, it is a safe facing porch. As you can see, there's light in here all day long. And this is where I keep, if I'm gonna grow little seedlings and things, I'll put them in here to germinate because it stays warm in here in the night time because you've got all this brick as well. So it heats up during the day and then um, the brick sort of keeps the heat in and then it releases it slowly. And then I've got windows in here as well if I need to keep it all ventilated. So yeah, this is where I keep all of my sort of arid plants like cacti. So uh, I'm just gonna show you a few cacti actually and uh, just explain a little bit about how to keep them healthy, and what to do, what not to do. The first thing I would recommend if you're gonna keep, uh, especially cacti, if you've got a cactus plant, is um, keep it in a terracotta pot like this. Um, plastic pots, you, you usually when you buy them they're in a plastic pot but it doesn't allow for the roots to get um, just to stay kind of semi dry um, you could tend to get it may waterlog um, this helps to keep everything dry so you've got better control with these you can add water and it doesn't sit in the bottom so much so yeah a terracotta pot would be a, a must of course uh, if you've got a south facing porch like I have or a south facing window ledge you want to try to keep them in the sunny spot because they love the sun and they like dry conditions uh, as you can see this one here is in a terracotta pot and um, it's just coming into flower now so every year this one sort of it started off as like one of these uh, sections and then it sort of spread into another section every time it flowered and you can see that it's flowering now so it's getting enough sun and enough nutrients and what I also like to do is where the surface is I like to put lots of stones and pebbles and that helps to keep the moisture in so you don't want it to be wet but you, you don't want it to dry out either because if the pot dries out you're gonna have to actually soak it again and sort of um, rehydrate it because it will just go bone dry and then you'll find the water will just fall straight to the bottom so keep a mulch on there and I like to use um, pebbles and stones and things and it kind of makes it feel like it's at home in the desert and this one is doing really well it's got plenty of little flowers growing on it I don't know what kind this is if you know uh, please let me know in the comments below I'm no cactus expert but I like to have a, a few around they're quite pretty uh, especially this one so if you know what this one is please let me know I also have this, uh, this cactus quite small this one a different variety and same again I've got pebbles in there and I've got it in a terracotta pot and that is growing nicely that hasn't flowered yet that one another tip you want to keep these away from children because some of these spines can they can be very fine and they can come off and they can irritate the skin or you could even get them in your eyes so keep out of the reach of children and here I've got um, a type of aloe vera and that one did flower last year a little flower stalk came up on it I think it was red it hasn't flowered this year yet and um, I haven't actually got this one in a terracotta pot at the moment but I probably will put it in one so with these they're like a succulent they, 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 they hold on to the water in the leaves you can see the leaves are quite chunky so they don't need to be watered very often but if you're going to keep them in a really dry area um, you, you want to just make sure they are kept moist because they can dry out really quickly and you can see there there's a little sucker growing on that one and here I've got a little uh, jade money plant these also like dry conditions as they are a succulent and they store a lot of the water in the leaves so you want to make sure these leaves don't have any creases in them so they're nice and plump but at the same time you don't want to water them too much and they will grow happily and these are really easy to, um, to plant on you can literally break a leaf off and push a leaf into some damp compost and it will reroot itself they, they, um, they take really well as a cutting And here's another jade money plant.
And I'm also growing uh, some tomato seeds in here. And they've come up lovely. Plenty of sun. As I say, if you're gonna grow them in a porch, just make sure you've got windows. I've got the window over here open because all plants um, do not like, pretty much all plants don't like bad ventilation, especially when it's cold or it's damp. Um, and it, it's good to keep them ventilated. So there's a little vent in here as well. When you want to water a cactus, what I do is, instead of pouring water in, as I don't want it to get too waterlogged, I like to use a sort of spray because I think in the in natural environment they will they will collect sort of um, early morning dew and moisture and they will take it in sort of that way mainly rather than a soaking. So if you think of a desert, it doesn't rain very often, so they've adapted to sort of take moisture from the air. So I like to sort of just give them a spray, atomize the water a bit with one of these. Just try to replicate a sort of early morning in the desert, a little bit of dew droplets maybe, just a bit around the base. And that's it. So on the subject of like drainage and what soil to use, I tend to just use a, a, a potting compost or um, a coconut style um, compost, quite a dry compost, and then I'll mix in some grit and some sand, probably put a few pebbles at the bottom as well. And in terms of like nutrients and adding things, you know, like add, adding to the, the water, some sort of fertilizer or, you know, like a booster, I, I don't do that. I, I find that they seem to grow very well when they're just left to their own devices, as long as they're kept with enough moisture and enough light, they seem to do really well. Um, you'd think that I'd pumped quite a bit of, you know, fertilizer into this one maybe just to get it flowering, but I find that the more you, the more time you spend on a plant like this, the worse it is for it. They're best just left alone. Um, when they're in a nice, when they like the spot that they're in, when you find a good spot for them and they seem to grow okay, just leave them to it. This one is putting out loads of flowers and literally all I've done is water it. So there it is, uh, a few tips of mine on how to grow cactus, cacti, and uh, that's how I do it. Um, if you've got any tips for me, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please uh, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing as well. I do uh, gardening videos, uh, restorations, uh, woodworking, and a lot to upcycle things and uh, make stuff. So if you're interested in that, then you might want to check out the channel. So uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.